In this video, we're going to show you to install the ABS speed sensor on your Toyota Tundra located behind the rear wheels. Now using a 22 millimeter socket, we're going to loosen and remove our lug nuts. The center cap will stay on for now until we remove the wheel and then that will pop off. Pop off the center cap, grab that wheel, remove it, and set it aside. Now after you have your wheel off, you can go ahead and locate the ABS speed sensor right here on the forward portion of the axle. We have the harness connected to it. So we're going to use a pocket screwdriver, and right in this little notch here, you're going to find a tab. Now you're going to put the little pocket screwdriver in here, and gently twist that screwdriver, lifting up on the release tab. When you do that, grab that white connector or gray connector and pull that right off. So you're going to be disconnecting this little lock tab right in here. It's a little spring clip. Now here we have the actual sensor itself. There's a 10 millimeter nut. We're going to go ahead and loosen and remove that. I'm just using our quarter inch ratchet. Now this here, ours is coming out as a stud. Sometimes the nut might come off separately. It's not a big deal. If the nut comes off and leaves the stud, that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and spray this down with some penetrant to hopefully let this soak in and allow this to come out a little bit easier. Now normally you can use a pair of pliers. You can grab the unit here and we're just going to gently want to try and twist it. We have a little bit of movement there, but not a lot. And you always want to be prepared because sometimes these can break off inside, which means we just have to grab a drill bit and drill it out. But it looks like ours is spinning here. While it's rotating, I'm going to go ahead and pull outward and hopefully remove the sensor. Now there is a rubber o-ring in there holding that in place. We just need to pop that out beyond. Sometimes using different tools, like I'm using a pair of hose pliers here. You can grab and twist and pull at the same time. And there it goes. There's a sensor. We got it out complete. There's a little o-ring on the edge right there. Our next step is to go ahead and clean up this portion right here. We're going to use some spray solvent. Once it's all cleaned up, go ahead and line up the new sensor. Make sure that that sensor is flush with the axle tube housing right there. And go ahead and take our stud or the nut and install that. Now the sensor itself has a little metal sleeve on it. So you're not gonna crack the sensor. When you're tightening this down, ideally what you wanna do is once that bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. You just want it to be snug and simple enough. Grab that housing for the connector and reattach it. You want to line that up, push it on. You want to hear it and feel it click on. Give it a little tug just for extra safety there, but make sure that's on there. Now, if you happen to have a check engine light on on the dash because of this sensor, you want to go ahead and use your scan tool, clear their code, install the wheel, and take the vehicle for a road test. Go ahead and grab that wheel, line up the studs on there. Now let's go ahead and get all of our lug nuts started by hand.
Just line up your tabs here and they'll snap in. Now when torquing down your lug nuts, if you have the steel wheels, torque them to 154 foot-pounds. If you have aluminum wheels, torque to 97 foot-pounds. Now when doing this, you want to torque these in a crisscross pattern. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.